What's up? Welcome back to New Game Stuff. Thank you so much. I'll be showing you all retro games that I bought recently. We have a lot of really cool pickups. This was before the next gen PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. So please enjoy this. Leave a like and a comment. Subscribe. All of this was from a little while ago, so I have a lot more to talk about when it comes to the next gen. So I'll be making more videos about new game stuff. And I'll be talking about a lot more games too. First thing we're gonna talk about is an N64 game because I picked it up because I thought it was cool. This is actually a third person shooter. This was a third person shooter that was on the Nintendo Switch. What am I saying, Nintendo Switch? Nintendo 64. Did I say Nintendo Switch before? But this was also on the PlayStation 2. So I guess they upgraded the graphics or maybe they had to downscale the graphics for the, P for the N64 version. But yeah, I'll definitely play this game. Like I got it so I could show the stream. I think this is a very interesting N64 game that I've never heard about. I never even saw it before. I got to hook up my N64 so we can play this or maybe emulate it. Yo, this game is going to be crazy. It's going to be fun to it's going to be fun to check out. All right, next game in the stack. What do you think it is? Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. I got it to complete the uh, Animal Crossing collection. So yeah, basically I'm completing my Animal Crossing collection. I think this is every Animal Crossing game I didn't have. So we have the one on the on the DS and we have the one on the 3DS. But this isn't the only one on the 3DS. I thought I didn't have Animal Crossing New Leaf, but I did have Animal Crossing New Leaf. But I didn't have Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. So I had to get this. But the game I really didn't have was Animal Crossing Wild World. The, for a lot of people, this is their favorite Animal Crossing game. I actually played it on the Wii U. So there's a few DS games that they actually did re-release on the Wii U. So that's the only time DS games have been ported to be able to be played on the TV. So officially they stopped manufacturing as in making more units of the 3DS. They're not making any brand new 3DS's. They're not trying to sell any more 3DS's. That means that there's no new 3DS games coming out. And yeah, even at GameStop, 3DS games are a lot harder to find now. Like how every generation, you know, PS2 is in at GameStop, even Xbox 360 and PS3. When I was collecting, you could find all the good games at GameStop, but now it's been a few years. You won't even find Wii games, especially good Wii games at GameStop anymore. No, everything's been picked. So get the 3DS games before it's too late. Anyways, what else do I have in the stack of games? Right here, we got Super Star Wars. This is a great Star Wars game. I think these are actually on PS4. If they are, I'm definitely going to check them out on PS4. But this is a Super Nintendo Star Wars game. They have one for all the Star Wars movies. Uh, well, the original trilogy. So they have one here for the original Star Wars, also known as A New Hope, Episode 4. They have one for Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars Episode 5, and they also have one for Return of the Jedi, but yeah, Super Star Wars and Super Empire Strikes Back. So here's some more retro gaming stuff, here's some more classic game stuff. Alright, here's a Bomberman game, so there actually is a Bomberman game on Nintendo Switch, uh, and it's on Xbox, it's probably on everything, let me know if you played it. The reason why I picked up this game right here, wow, it has a GameStop sticker on it, that's awesome. Oh, you can't really see though. The reason why I picked this game up, it's on the GameCube. Uh, most of these games are pretty cheap for the most part. So I try to pick up hidden gems. But the reason why I had to have this is this was a game that I had when I was a kid. So whenever I see a game that I actually had that I remember, I gotta pick it up. You know, and I don't like go out of my way to like eBay this stuff. But when I see it, I'm happy. So this game specifically, I've had the case for it all these years, but I lost the game. But yeah, this was a game that I used to have. I'm happy that I finally have it again. Uh, here's some more random stuff. Ice Climbers. When we were playing Smash Bros, I was always talking about how there's a few characters in Smash Bros that I don't have the game that they're from. 
but check it out. This this needs no explanation. There's a character in Smash Bros. named Ice Climbers. And the character is two Ice Climbers, Nana and Popo. They've been in the game since Melee. Was Ice Climbers not in Brawl? No, I think Ice Climbers was in Brawl. But they took it they took them out of Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, also known as Smash 4. But they made the comeback in Smash Bros. Ultimate. And you can play this game on the Nintendo Online service that gives you a bunch of classic games on the Nintendo Switch. So I finally got my Ice Climbers. You want to see something crazy? How about some Game Boy games? How about some Game Boy games? So right here... I, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if I ever told you this. But I, I might actually be a Ninja Turtle myself. So we got classic, classic. And by the way, I never pay, I never pay the sticker price here. So this is Ninja Turtles 2? I think there's also a Ninja Turtles 3. And this is on Game Boy. Just look at that artwork. Come on, camera, focus. All right, it's the Ninja Turtles. They're a little see-through right now. All right, but check it out. Not only do we have Ninja Turtles 2, we got the Japanese version of Ninja Turtles 2. Wow, so you really can't see this right now, so I have to get another picture of it. But yeah, once I saw them both, dude, look how crazy that is. You, I don't, you, you could probably obviously tell, but... Yeah, the, the English version and the Japanese version, you know, both of these games have different artwork, and it's the same game. I always think stuff like that is awesome. So, how crazy is that? Same game, different artwork. That is cool. That is cool. And here's another Japanese Game Boy game. This one is badass. Fist of the North Star. Classic, classic anime. Fist of the North Star on Game Boy. Dude, it's on Game Boy. Like, what kind of game am I expecting here? But it's Fist of the North Star, and it's a Japanese game. Alright, here's some more random games. Here's some more random games. I got these because Mario. But yeah, back in the day, I did play one of these uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I did actually play these games before. Uh, I bought this game, or I was thinking about getting this game, and then I was like, why don't I just get the new one? There's a new one on Nintendo Switch. And to be honest, I never see that game in the stores. Maybe it was a limited release. Maybe that game is rare. Maybe that game is gonna be rare. But look at this, I just found something crazy. Look at the back of the box. You can't even see it, but... There's a me Eggman costume. Yo, that should be in Smash Bros. There's me costumes in Smash Bros. That's why when I see this me costume, it looks so familiar. They don't have a Dr. Eggman me costume. It's because he's going to be a character. That's why. And then the other game here. Uh, yeah, I didn't have this. But look, Petey Piranha is on the cover. The Piranha Plant from Mario Sunshine. This game just looks like a lot of fun. It has Mario on it. Had to get it. It's a Mario game. Had to have it. So we got two games left to talk about, and we've been talking for a while. So, uh, which game should we talk about first? Alright, let's talk about this game. So why did I get it? It's obvious, right? It's a GameCube game. Now, I got this game. I didn't have it in my collection. It's a rated M game. Rated M. Um... But yeah, I I kind of remember this game. I didn't have it myself, but I kind of remember seeing stuff about this game. This game is from a long time ago. Let's check out the back of the game. Seriously, st seeing stuff like this reminds me what GameStop was like when I was a kid. Like, you would go to GameStop and you would find the most random games. Like, let's take a, let's take a look at this. I, I can't even see right now. Let me know if I should stream this game. This was Bayonetta before Bayonetta. Should I should I stream this game? 
So you guys told me that you actually had some of these Wii games and you actually missed them. They, you're going to try and play them sometime. That's awesome. But yeah, why did I get this game? It's got to be obvious, right? It was a different time back then. This was my era. Um, what else do I have here? All right, the last game. The last game. Battalion Wars. So, this game used to be really expensive. I don't know why this game actually dropped down in price. At least I remember it being a really expensive game. So, I remember when this game came out when I was a kid. Like, I remember seeing footage of it on the TV at GameStop. Seriously, I remember seeing footage for this game coming out on the TV at GameStop. I also have memories of that for like Halo 3 before Halo 3 was coming out. Thank you for watching this episode of New Game Stuff. I hope you enjoyed all the classic, old school, retro games from all generations. We had a lot of underrated games, kind of like Hidden Gem. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, comment, tell us what games you're hunting for, tell us if you remember any of these games. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, we have a lot of fun. Join us, and check out all my other videos on my channel. Watch all my other episodes of New Game Stuff. This episode here was before the next gen, Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, so we have a lot more to talk about. Come back and hang out with us again soon. Thank you so much.